What's up friends of the good mood, this is Manny and welcome to a video a long time coming. Manny reacting to his own first War Robots video and that's gonna be really really fun. You see the old youngster, you know, the youngster down there on screen with his blue shirt. That's me four years ago, uh, July 13th, 2017, four years and a couple of days ago uh, is when my first War Robots video, video came up. And uh, you see the game looked way different back then, I looked a little different, I also spoke very different and those were my first matches in War Robots, I didn't really know much about the game, right? So reacting to this is going to be really funny uh, and uh, also Maybe I should explain the background a little before we go into this. I came from another game called Vega Conflict back in the days. The community and the game was slowly dying and uh, therefore I knew I had to look for a different game and War Robots looked very promising. And uh, and therefore we were here, uh, I was testing basically the first War Robots video ever uh, and that's what we're gonna jump into right now, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> are you ready? Am I ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this guys, uh, but <laughs> let's go for it. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. You had four years to do that. How didn't you do this? Then uh, do it now, please. That would be cool. So, let's go for it. I'm killing the music here because there's going to be music in the video. Uh, for those who want to know, 80,000 views for the first video, not bad. Although, I guess, you know, many of that came over the years, probably. So, let's enlarge this and, uh, yo, have some fun. Where do I put myself here now so that I'm not overlapping uh, the the youngster many okay I guess we're, we're ready for this all right are you are you <laughs> all right here we go here we go what's up friends look at me this is money and welcome to the next session here in war robot wait did I say the next session oh I think that's right I, I used to war robot stream on twitch I think a little bit before that and uh, this was the first video but I think I streamed on twitch back then and this maybe this is why I said uh, welcome to the next uh, video. Um, also, friends of the good Moo, huh? Uh, the the D. That's always the problem. It's 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 so difficult to say to make the D count, uh, and it always sounds like a Moo, like a cool friends of the good Moo. That's right, right let's keep guys. Going. Uh, we're here in the Galahad. That's the rock, uh, the bot with the shield in front of him, and uh, I have mounted the Orkan yeah. uh, rocket launcher and two aphids, right? And with, paired with the shield, I have the ability to do a lot of damage over buildings, for example. Now yep. Yeah. I mean. Being educative as I am, immediately trying to explain what I'm about to do. I'm shooting over cover, I don't need line of sight, blah 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 blah. Uh, as if you guys had not known that way more than I did, right? In line of sight to my enemy. And uh, just overall in general, I um, I can be really, really annoying with this, right? Yeah. So let's yeah, do this. I can. <laughs> let's try to be as annoying as most as humanly possible. There's one <laughs> okay. guy, uh, he's got the, I'm not sure the name, the fast robot that can, you know, uh, turn Stalker. off the enemy uh, targeting at you and that's what he's doing right now so he can't really be killed but now it's called targeting He's called Stalker Money. Just, you know, uh, I'm just trying to help you here with the commentary and the co commentary for, for you. So let's get going. Is, you know, back in order and we can just kill that guy real quick. What do you also, you see a way different interface now. You don't see how much damage you have done like this, the red line and the white line that shows you how much you've currently done to him. That's not there anymore, right? Um, the interface is so different of the old War Robots and most importantly, you'll find a War Robots here. There are no active modules, there are no passive modules, there is no last stand. Uh, there's no hawk or anything crazy. The Stalker was one of the most dangerous things in the game actually and the Lancelot or Ansel a lot, so the Lancer with Ansel shields and Tarans. What you can really see here, me popular. using is the uh, the aphids for once and the Orkan. The Orkan is a uh, it's like a rocket launcher that yeah. continuously fires like 20 or 30 rockets very Listen quickly. Listen to this guy. And, he knows uh, what he's talking rockets, about. <laughs> they do a very lot, lot, a lot of damage in a short time. I think the Orkan is actually the weapon with the highest burst damage. In, it was in, back in a then, very yeah. Short a time span, right? It's true, yeah. And, and that's what makes it a, the ideal weapon for uh, for ambushes, right? You come out, you, sh you pun punch a whole bunch of missiles right in the face of the, your enemy, and then you go back into cover and regenerate. It also that's true, that's many what many of you probably don't re uh, re uh, remember anymore. The Orkin used to be the most powerful thing in the game. Uh, an Orkin Spectre that came later, the Spectre didn't arrive here. Orkin Spectre was able to really just uh, delete you in two, three seconds, which it was unheard of back then. Sniper cannons, right? Today that's not normal. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to uh, to not be hit so much by him. But then again, I got the shield. 
The Galahad right. here is the bot that has this gigantic shield that absorbs quite a lot of damage. If it gets too much damage, the shield will drop, right? It was but one of the most powerful physical shields back then. Time, I think it was really, the most really powerful. Take a lot of hits here and then get behind cover and you have done damage and the enemy hasn't done any back. Maybe the Rhino. However, more that only shield. works as long as, uh, you know, you're not getting hit by massive splash damage weapons. They hit you still. Sumwald there, he's probably gonna get a little Ooh. bit pissed now because even if he hits me, he can't <laughs> deal damage. And now I can continuously sh launch those aphid rockets over the bot watch, buildings. Right watch that place. dirty mouth, Manny. <laughs> but for now, I want to get rid of Renzas over there because he is a nuisance to our team. It's about doing what you think is the most beneficial to your team, right? Right. That's, I Listen think, to him. The key he knows to success. It. That makes the difference between a loss and a one match. If you get rid of the enemies that have the potential of, you know, dealing a lot of damage to your team or being in a very good position, try to take them out. You know, that's still now, something that today's people... Somebody, I'm sorry, buddy, but you are going to have to pay your attention to me now. Yep. That's Enough even something you can still use friend. today, nope, the knowledge, nope, right? That you take out now enemies that are most dangerous first, uh, hey, somebody, and the therefore you clear the way for the rest of your team. You? I mean, that still makes this sense. This guy's still attention applies. span of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah. He's not even yeah. aiming at me. I know why. Or maybe because he doesn't. I'm invincible to his weapon, right? Exactly. He can't deal That's any it. damage to me. Uh, that doesn't stop me from him hitting him, though. <laughs> right. So he's gonna get destroyed. One of his weapons is already destroyed. What do we have Sanko here? Sanko is coming around the corner and he's not doing any damage to me because I got the shield in front of me. Yep. And uh, yeah. Also very popular, I, the old I Plasma the Griffin with uh, Tarans and uh, Magnums. Super powerful setup, uh, especially due to the jump. It could surprise kill anyone. Uh, but in this case, the Galahad had the shield ready. I feel like if you do that for a while, then you you regenerate the hit points of your shield. Is that right? I <laughs> no, you don't, like Manny. <laughs> if I do that, it lasts. You do long. not re regenerate physical shield HP. But I need you guys to tell HP. me if that's really true. Because I'm not an expert in the game yet. I'm still learning a lot. I am. Like I said, I'm telling and, you, um, it doesn't it work. It's taking a while to really learn everything, every mechanic about the game. But yep. I'm certainly going to do that because I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun here, and I'm also planning already the first live streams of it. Now we have yeah, Renza's right, coming with a massive damage dealer in melee mode. And I cannot take him on so much on my own. I need to wait for firepower, and thankfully I got some backup from the right side, which allows nope. me to take like a lot of damage into him here from the side. And get interesting how even a Leo goes quickly. down from the orc. Thanks for the right. assistance, buddy, from the right. I wouldn't have done that myself because oh. the thunder already being kind and thanking for people's that support. He has mounted on his tank. It deals a lot of damage, and it will actually drop my shield very quickly. Right. That's right. The double uh, damage from the oh, shotguns. It seems like my the enemy team Although is, I think uh, back totally then this No, no, no. I think back then the double damage of projectile uh, we weapons wasn't even in the game. He's out of range, Manny. He's uh, out of range. You're not hitting him with those orcans. You're still not hitting him uh, with the orcans though. Into our bot well, already, you got him with the aphid. It hasn't been count as damage because the shield blocked it, right? However, walking around with the Am shield I still all using the time, the mouse like, cursor see, to fire? didn't take any damage again. I think I am. And Lances or whatever his name is. I am actually there. still He's using the mouse cursor, cursor to fire at enemies. <laughs> okay. And boom, more runs. Um, there is a. I what think an interesting it's, it's so show. So when you drop Seriously. the shield to the left, then you will take. Uh, you will walk faster, right? I'm saying this to, to show you guys that it's not exactly the universal solution to always have your shield in the front, right? You Indeed. should drop it for a little while because that will make you walk faster. You can reach right. points faster. You can uh, basically, uh, yeah, capture points and be very, very helpful to your team. Now. Yeah, let me tell you something, Manny, that you didn't know back then. You can even block damage with your shield when the shield is not active, when you are having it sideways, and you can walk forward and block damage from the left. Something that you can do very, very, very well with many rows robots these days uh, and back then that has the Galahad and the Ga uh, Garrett they both could do that this guy's rocking double thunder on his Natasha he's gonna break that shield quickly now this guy's firing in my back uh, and oh you can see my drop oh. my shield is and Ma it's money gaming already boom there goes my Orkin <laughs> oh now, man this guy actually has two of those uh, very quick firing um, shotgun thunder we weapons Yep. Trying to get behind the cover here real quick and trying to get out of this sight, but ah, he's following me. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Oh, wow. Look at the interface of War Robots. And I didn't even have five robots then. Look, I'm just going out of the screen right now. You see, I didn't have five robots. That was my account, and I did not have uh, the fifth robot slot unlocked. What I did have was a, ga um, a stalker uh, with... Uh, no, uh, a gay part with uh, AFIT, 
I have a Leo with Magnums and Thunder. Oh, well, we just spoke about that. And we have uh, the Plasma Griffin as well. So I, I did have quite a... That, that was considered a strong uh, setup, basically, back then. Although, I didn't have the Lancelot, but um, the uh, this was already pretty okay setups uh, to run. And especially since uh, the aphids was really... Re there was a there was a aphid meta back in the days. Um, and, um, yeah, it wasn't quite dead yet when I started playing. So, pretty interesting. However, even though it looked like we were losing for a few seconds ago... We have annihilated the enemy robots so fast and so many of them that they can't bring them in anymore. They're out of robots, right? Uh, nice. So it paid off now that we have taken out so many enemy robots and lost only so little of our own because now we have the the, the, the amount, the, the number uh, advantage and What's that basically to say, allows man? us to capture more points and turn the tide of this match. Um, also, uh, see the speed of robots, just to show that, right? I mean, I just spawned uh, a half a minute ago, and I'm still in my base. Look at the jump cooldown of the Griffin. Uh, that is so long, 26 seconds altogether. Uh, that is a long cooldown for a jump. Also, remember that the jump is still pretty long, but it's I think it's shorter now. And then the Ravens can jump more often, and there's an active module jump unit that can literally jump every 12 or 11 seconds now. So, or this, all in all, this all became so, so much more dominant in uh, in in mobility. Even though it looked like a total um, loss at first, compared to back then, definitely made it a really, really. Also interesting, I had premium. I did only do look. This is also so cool. Five hundred thousand damage is what I done, and five five hundred thousand is not terrible, right? I mean, I wasn't running brawlers here, so this is something we should keep in mind. If I had been running the plasma griffin from the beginning, and maybe an orkin griffin or stuff like this, maybe I would have done eight hundred nine hundred thousand damage, right? But I remember that a one million damage match was really really strong. No, like you didn't do that all the time, and now you have four million damage next to every match, right? Uh, also, um, despite on only having 500,000 credits, I still got a we whopping 400,000 credits uh, from we the have, match. Uh, also, I guess, captured quite a good amount and uh, of if that, if that, look, this guy, for example, he was running brawlers for sure, uh, because he got 800,000, 700,000 damage. So that you could only achieve when you were running brawler re weapons. Aphids and stuff couldn't do this much, but it's still fun to use, and that's why I liked to doing this, right? I always uh, was the guy who loved pref or preferred the uh, the the tricky play style over the effective play style. So anything with uh, with aphid vortex vortex didn't exist back then. Thermite didn't either. But vor uh, but aphid was fun. Um, so let's see what I say. We've uh, we've definitely dealt some damage. We weren't the number one damage dealer in this match, but we have definitely been been among the first. So um, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. There's gonna be a lot more where that came from, and uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I can tell you about 1,250 more where this came from at this day today. I think we have about 1,250 Warobots videos out there now here on the channel. Uh, also, the top right corner you cannot see it. It's behind the the, the thing now. Um, it's a, a green 30. I had fraps running, and I was showing my frame rate, or was it Nvidia Shadow Play? I don't know. Uh, but uh, one of the things is, is they, the game. Gameplay was only 30 frames per second also. There was no 60 frames per second, but soon there was the ability to uh, get it uh, running 60 frames uh, on I'm, the emulator. In this spirit, I'm hoping that you enjoyed it and also uh, share it with all your friends. Because like I said in every one of those videos, it really helps me a lot if you share this away with all your friends who play that the game. That still goes. Or those who, uh, you know, who would you would like to them, them to play the game as well. Maybe it will... And maybe they like it too, and they will start playing too with you, right? Yeah, remember, most of my viewers back then were actually not War Robots players. Um, I mean, the video maybe got, what what the video think maybe got 2,000 views over, uh, let's say, one day or two days. So consider comparing that to with today, that's very little, of course. Uh, but most of those viewers were Vega Conflict players. So what I was doing, I was trying to also make uh, get get those people who were coming from Vega Conflict maybe interested in looking at my Warabots videos if they liked the gameplay, right? So uh, just to explain the background a little more. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, the old again, outro. signing off. Bye bye. And uh, don't forget, in the video description is a link to a video oh. playlist with all my War Thunder, eh, War Thunder, uh, War <laughs> Robots uh, gameplay all at once, yeah. uh, including future live streams that are gonna make on the YouTube cha uh, Twitch channel as well.
War Thunder, yeah, I've played that as well, but that's a different game. Also, let's have a look at the comment section of this video, because I think this is also something very, very important, especially after four years. The beginning of a legend, where is my Galahad now? I need it, two years ago from my Garax Loki, or Loki. Uh, that's awesome, I also replied, uh, lol, found, your found my first video, eh? <laughs> and that was two years ago, nice. Okay, we have a uh, toxicology. I can imagine Manny coming in with his Vortex Spectre and one-tapping the old version of himself in the Galahad. You know, I can imagine that very well too. Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, physical shields can't regenerate, unlike energy shields. With Galahad, if you put the shield down, it'll just make the bot faster. Ahmed let us know that this is not possible. So also really awesome, thank you Ahmed. And that was also four years ago, two years ago. So this is when you started playing Warawats, yeah. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. This is a start of a legend called Manny. Well, it didn't rhyme, but it was still uh, a nice one. You know, it's an old Manny video when he can't say the name Stalker. Indeed, indeed it was. What did I say here? And that was three years ago, so uh, a year later, a year after excuse me, after I started, and I replied, hey, that's true, uh, this is when I started out with War Robots and I still had to learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, he really did. Uh, you know it's the old man when he's shooting a, an Orkin from 342 meters away. <laughs> Indeed, man. I also noticed that and spotted that. You know, so those are the things that any, any pro a uh, War Robots player will spot instantly, firing Orkans at, four, at thir above 300 meters. What are you thinking, like, right? Wasting ammo. And that's like every every pro player will immediately know that, or, or a practiced seasoned player. And uh, I saw it too here in myself, but I didn't notice it when I was playing. First War Robots video, this is when st uh, what started his career. I, uh, and a legend, and two more years of War Robots good mood. Yeah, it's three now actually even after you wrote this comment. Nostalgia, miss the old days. Yeah, me too, man. This old meta was pretty fun. Uh, I would miss a lot of robots though. So many robots that I really came to love and appreciate, the Raven, for example, or, or the Cerberus, some other things, Spectre, um, that I really liked over the years. They weren't in the game yet. Also, many weapons weren't in the game, right? So uh, Exodus, for example, the heavy version of uh, Arkans that we were running, um, I would miss a lot of things, but there was all there would also be a lot of things I wouldn't miss for example the drones feature right I think the game could have gone very well without the drones feature um, Titans mm, I think I like Titans actually they fit into the game you're controlling a large robot and you're destroying other robots you know it fits into the game uh, but the drones feature for example I wish it wasn't in the game um, and it's uh, interesting how the game has just evolved over the years not just the interface but the entire gameplay became so much more fast-paced um, and, uh, and therefore, weapons like Aphid are no longer as effective. They don't hit very well anymore. Uh, I need those days back. Bring it back. This was this this time was a uh, legend, Manny. Yeah, thanks, man. And uh, I, I agree that War Robots back then was really funny uh, and fun. Uh, was it better? I guess overall, it uh, it was more more fair. I would say, right? There wasn't so many ways to stand out so much from another player. Uh, you had to play well in what you were given in order to score a victory, and you couldn't just get yourself this best drone equipment and this best uh, Mark III and this best active and passive module stuff and combine all that to be simply impossible to kill. Uh, back then, anybody could have taken you out, right? Any freaking griffin jumping on you with orcans at the wrong time, catching you off guard and you would be done, you know? Um, and no shield would protect you from that, no drone, no face shift, nothing of this sort. So you had to play well. And that was that is something I really, really miss in War Robots these days. It, it just, you can do so many mistakes and you're still coming out no problem, right? With these many things protecting you from, from all sorts of things. So uh, I think that was a nice uh, uh, look into the comment section as well and I just impl included here in the video because it has to be done. And also, we would do this in any other future uh, reacting to video if you want me to do more than that. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gents, you see um, that was uh, interesting also that a new video is shown in the playlist now because this is the playlist that has all the War Robots videos. Um, so yeah, this was a really interesting experience and I have so many more. There are videos where I ran brawlers and I really just carried the team hard with massive damage. We could together find out 
back then, what was my highest damage round? For example, if you enjoy these type of reacti reacting to myself and my old videos, let me know in the comments. I could give you more than that, more of those, uh, but this was one that I really had to do, reacting my very first video. Um, we could uh, we could do an uh, experiment around with a lot with, with these type of things, uh, but I'll be moving myself back here. And for now, I say... The actual outro, which is the same that, you know what, he already did a good job on the outro, right? So let me just say thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and we'll catch you, say, catch you soon in the next episode. So, bye-bye.